Welcome to Tesla Vision. Today we will talk about the most recent Tesla news and updates. Let's get into it right away. Via his Twitter account, Elon Musk recently shared some news about the solar roof and traditional solar panels that would be sold as an integrated product alongside with Tesla's Powerwall battery. Tesla will have begun the sales of the bundled energy packages by the start of next week. Mr. Musk later tweeted that the integrated solar and battery system would come with certain perks. Thus, the Powerwall battery will interface between the main breaker panels of the house and the utility meter, laying the ground for a more seamless installation process. In the case of power shortages, it will provide backup energy to its customers. On the market, the Tesla Powerwall is the most popular residential battery system. Energy Sage Solar Market Plus Intel report, based on kilowatt hour stored units, claims the Tesla Powerwall is offering the least expensive storage option, which makes it the obvious choice for many customers. ARK Invest Director of Research, Brett Winton, however, recently had a Twitter talk with Mr. Musk. Mr. Winton, among other things, described an issue he has been having with Tesla's solar energy system. He claimed that since the installation in January of 2021, the solar roof Powerwall Tesla setup has not produced a single watt-hour of energy. The reason? The lack of connection approval from his utility. Mr. Musk tweeted at Winton to ask if he had a Powerwall to accompany his solar installation, saying utility permission is not required to use electricity stored in its battery. The solar roof of Tesla has been a hot media topic these days. Some customers have even pointed out the price increase. The price tags have been updated from $66,000 to $87,000. However, no details about the price increase of the solar roof have been reported by the company yet. There is a Tesla online solar roof cost estimator that can help you find out how much a particular roof configuration would cost you. The system will take numerous factors into account. For instance, are there any chimneys on your roof? And gives you quite a good estimate. Tesla has confirmed that more complex roofs do require more effort, time and material investments, which should not make their costs all that surprising. Tesla is going to provide a free software update of the Powerwall 2 batteries, which will endow it with a 50% power increase. The update might roll out in the coming month. Mr. Musk announced the update on Wednesday night, the same night when he stated that Tesla would exclusively sell the bundles of Tesla's residential energy products. The power increase seems to be a noteworthy improvement by Tesla. With the software update, in case of a power outage, the update will make it possible for the users to keep on using their devices, maintaining the service on 50% more circuits. They will be able to keep more appliances active. The advantages may outweigh the disadvantages, as in some cases, the Powerwall 2 batteries might discharge faster. Some Powerwall owners might not get the free 50% power increase, as the update will be rolled out only for the batteries produced after a specific date. For Tesla's products, the company will be creating a brand new team to explore novel material applications, such as utilizing stainless steel alloys for the Cybertruck's exoskeleton. Tesla has been experimenting with new materials to create more efficient and safer cars for its customers. In 2019, Tesla unveiled the vehicle's exoskeleton made of a strong, robust stainless steel alloy. Last year, Tesla CEO Elon Musk stated that the company would be using new materials and keep on expanding possible ways of their usage in order to avoid the risk of stagnation in vehicle production. David Nelson stated that he would be leading the new material engineering team at Tesla. The entire team of engineers will work on exploration and research into stronger materials to be used in the company's products. The company will be recruiting more people for the team. The Tesla Autopilot can be tricked into driving without having anyone in the driving seat, as claimed by Consumer Reports. The test by Consumer Reports was carried out in response to the Model S crash in Texas. Back then, some media outlets claimed that there was no one in the driver's seat of the vehicle at the time it crashed and burst into flames. Mr. Musk would later debunk this claim, stating that the activation of the Tesla autopilot was simply not possible at the crash site since the street lacked the lane lines. The Consumer Reports Tesla test was conducted using Tesla Model Y. 
Jake Fisher, Consumer Reports Senior Director of Auto Testing, activated the autopilot when the vehicle was moving. He was in the driver's seat and later brought the car speed to zero. Mr. Fisher then moved to a passenger seat. Without too much trouble, he reached for the vehicle's speed dial on the steering wheel and increased the car's speed. On the steering wheel, Mr. Fisher put a small chain, whose weight was approximately equal to that of a driver's hand. Tesla Model Y, with the autopilot system set to 30 miles per hour, remained on its course and actually kept on driving without anyone in the driver's seat. Fisher stated that during the test, the vehicle failed to identify the presence or the absence of a person in the driver's seat. Moreover, it did not work properly to establish the fact of drivers actually paying attention to the road. He added that GM and Ford have advanced driver assist systems that use various technologies to see if the driver is attentive or not. According to Mr. Fisher, these automakers have bested Tesla. The first quarter 2020 safety report indicates that Tesla's autopilot is 10 times safer than human driving. The CR test is extremely bizarre, as it requires items that are not usually present in the vehicle or such certain items in anyone's possession. Tesla says that the driver should remain attentive during the driving, as the company has not claimed that any of its vehicles have achieved the Level 5 autonomy, which allows the driver to do whatever his heart desires except for driving proper. It should be noted that Tesla does have safety thresholds, as it requires the driver to be in the driving seat for the autopilot to function. Tesla vehicles are also supposed to stop if the driver is not holding the steering wheel. Other safety features, like the facial recognition camera, monitor the driver's face and eyes to see whether the driver is attentive or not. Tesla has revoked FSD access in several cases when its users were inattentive enough during its application. Tesla owners that got affected by the multi-memory card EMC failure are receiving refund checks from the company. In January 2021, NHTSA demanded that Tesla repair 158,000 Model X vehicles made between 2016 and 2018 and Model S vehicles made between 2012 and 2018. The EMC card in those vehicles was prone to failure that might have caused losing the rear-view camera display functionality, reducing visibility, exterior torn signal lighting, and defog defrost control settings that might have increased the risk of a crash. On the 2nd of February, Tesla recalled 134,951 vehicle, Model X and Model S. Tesla contacted the owners whose vehicles required the repair in March and informed them that they were eligible for the reimbursement if they had the replacement completed already. Tesla owners have to submit a reimbursement form. The repair will be completed at no cost by Tesla. And if all the necessary work has already been carried out, Tesla owners will receive a reimbursement check from Tesla. Some Tesla owners received checks for $1,670.50 a few days ago, while some said that Tesla had not qualified them for the upgrade due to several reasons. Some had difficulties receiving the checks as their refund was denied without the company giving any reasons. After NHTSA announced the recall, the repairs began on the 30th of March 2021. The same issue was reported in China, and Tesla promised to deal with it as well. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.